Hugs and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my India shopping haul. So if you didn't know, my partner is actually Indian. I go to Mumbai once a year, sometimes even two to three times a year before you know the world health crisis. So we have finally gone back and it's just so nice and refreshing. A lot of his family is there, our friends are there. First I want to share with you some of the Indian brands and designers that I shopped while I was there and talk a little bit about shopping while you're in India if you're visiting. Okay? Don't even know how this happened, but I finally got a pink leather piece from Hermes. I wasn't even expecting to go in. Can't wait to show you. And by the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload once a week and I would love to have you here. And let's get into my India shopping haul. The first items I have to show you is actually the dress that I'm wearing. The thing about shopping in India, which I have to kind of explain before I get into this, is most everything is made to order. There are some things you can go into the store and buy off the rack, but even most of the time when you go in a store and it looks full, those are just samples and then they take your measurements and make the garment to your size or order you the standard size that fits your measurements. So shopping in India as a tourist can be a little difficult because when you look online for some of these brands, you'll see all these wonderful pieces and then they'll have like five available that you can buy off the rack. So I went to Pernia's pop-up shop in Juhu. They have stores in Bandra and I think a few other places as well. But on their website, if you want to explore Indian designers, it's a great website to go to. They have like hundreds of designers and a lot of them do casual and daily wear. And I love the casual and daily wear like mid-range to contemporary designer prices is what I would compare a lot of it to. When you go in store at Pernia's, most of it is Indian wear that you would wear for like weddings. So it's very heavy, heavily embellished. There's no way to work it into even, you know, a lighter function a lot of the time. So most everything is tailored to that bridal shopper, but they did have one brand I was looking to try and I'm gonna do my best with pronunciation, but please forgive me. I bought two dresses from Siddharth Bansal. This was one of the only like contemporary or like daily wear Indian brands that they had in Pernia's pop-up. Let me back up. I had a credit at Pernia's because I bought all of my wedding clothes there that was supposed to happen during Rona and then didn't happen. So I have all this wedding clothes still to use. Second dress I picked up is this magical, beautiful number. I would liken this brand to if Zimmerman and Love Shack Fancy had a colorful baby because the cuts and the silhouettes and the intricate details you would find in Zimmerman and then they have these more like boho lightweight fabrics like Love Shack Fancy does but it's definitely more colorful like this is very their color palette which is very my color palette which is why I love the brand. So it's a lot cheaper than Zimmerman and a little bit less expensive than Love Shack Fancy but you get incredible beautiful designs and Pernia's uh, website they ship worldwide but you need to check each item how long it will take to get to. If it doesn't have one of those labels ready to ship or ships within 10 days that means they make it to your order. So basically India invented slow fashion and the West is just stealing the idea because that is just how you shop in India. Most everything is made to measure. This I just thought was the most incredible piece. I loved the colors. I love the embellishments up top. You have to see the beading work up top and even the structure of the sleeve is so beautiful. This is one brand that I really highly recommend trying to get your hands on. Pernius has it. I believe AZA has it as well. I will link all these websites below. If you shop these brands that are made in India, designed in India, you get better price points and even more unique designs. So I needed to pick up like a little accessory so I could just finish off my full credit while I was there. So I picked up a little bag. It looks almost like the Jimmy Choo Bon Bon, but this is what I like. It's like inspired by, but not a copy. It's definitely not the same shape. And let me tell you this too. The Jimmy Choo Bon Bon bag, that style of like pouchy kind of drawstring clutch is a very typical Indian style of bag as well for like event wear. It came with a long shoulder strap and it came with like a little tiny top handle strap. It came in different sizes but they didn't have the pink, they had different colors. Clutches and occasion bags are not things I like to spend a lot of money on, so they're things that I actually look for when I go to India because you can get beautifully embellished bags for like under $200 very easily, like at almost every shop. So here's how it looks with the tiny top handle. I mean, stop it. 
it's so cute and I love actually that this doesn't look like you know like a cheap little handle like it looks nice and even the drawstring like it has a nice like cord to it got all of these beautiful embellishments and pearls at the end like it's just stunning and such a great price point second brand I shopped and this is a store I highly recommend if you're a tourist and you want to buy something off the rack they have a ton of pieces with colorful patterns and prints and like tassels and beautiful work they also have accessories this is Pyle Singho they make really breezy light summer wear the most beautiful Prints. like look at the animals through this it's so lightweight and so comfortable to wear and it cinches in at the waist I'll insert a picture over here I have a highlight over on my Instagram for you know places I like to eat places I like to shop so you'll have that reference there I'll link my Instagram below in the description but this is one that I had seen online and was actually hoping to shop in Pernia's pop-up shop but it wasn't there in the location I went to so I was going to a few other stores. There's a couple stores where you can buy things off the rack right in the same corner as this shop. And I popped in and you could buy pretty much everything off the rack. And the nice thing is, is a lot of like the caftans and the oversized pieces are like a one size piece. So there's flexibility and like adjustments in the piece alone. So it's easier to stock those pieces where you don't have to like order your size. But in terms of being size inclusive, a lot of Indian brands will make to measure your size no matter what your size is. So some of them have some sizing restrictions, but mostly if you're open and you have the time for a made to measure piece, you can get what you want in your size in general. And of course I had to buy like a little bag because it was just the perfect match and I love the idea of having the combination. This is a very traditional style of bag for India but with a little pizzazz with the gold tassels and the beading on the front of the pattern. So you'll actually see these worn with Indian wear like for events not super crazy but you can find these in street markets in malls from different designer brands you can find this style of bag at pretty much every price point this is one that you definitely don't have to spend designer price if you're looking for just like a typical India kind of souvenir and you want like a fashion souvenir you can find this at this style bag in so many shops at so many different price points but I just loved this match, the caftan and the embroidery on it. So I went for this one and I think it's quite special and fun. In case you're looking for cosmetics, India is really known for their Ayurvedic brands, which is basically the fancy way of saying like natural brand. Now I am not one to put natural brands on my face because I really do go behind the, you know, the correct preservatives in your skincare is good so it keeps bacteria away and that's just how I feel about it. For products for the body like lotion, body wash, hand soaps, things like that, I do not mind using more natural brands. Two brands that I can recommend you to shop when you're in India are Forest Essentials and Kama, I think is how you say it, K-A-M-A. -A. I will have them both linked below. I particularly love the vanilla and honey line from Forest Essentials. To the next store where I went completely nuts because I bought six pairs of shoes and that is Fizzy Goblet. So they do these very traditional shoes but with very not typical embroidery. So like you can find this style of shoe at the market, at you know the regular high street, so to say, shops. Like you can find them from designers. You can find this style shoe at every price point. Like at the markets you can get them for like under $15. They're super cheap, a great souvenir. If you want something special and whimsical, Fizzy Goblet is the brand. I love because it's like under the sea. It reminded me of like a little mermaid vibe. These are gonna look great with jeans. They're gonna look great with Indian wear. These are handmade as well. So something with the sizing is that some of these in the exact same style, I took a 39 and some of them I took a 40. If you are in between sizes, I would say size down. They do stretch and open up. But if you can go try them on and you can shop in person, that is best because you'll get the right fit. They also have inserts available. So if, it, if you're kind of in between, it, and it's better to take the bigger size. You can put a small little insert inside so it fits better. These are leather inside. There's padding here so they're super comfortable to wear and they mold to your feet like once you wear them a little bit. So I also picked up this floral pair. It's like perfect for summer. Even the back 
has detail to it as well. Detail for 3,890 rupees, which is, I'll put the conversion up here. Most of their shoes are under $75. They're all handmade, all hand embellished. So you're getting a really special shoe at a very affordable price point as well. So I think if you, even though these are more than like the market versions you'll get, you'll get something more special and you'll get the most unique embroidery. Like Fizzy Goblet definitely has like the most unique embroidery for these types of shoes. And this pair I picked up more so to go with my Indian wear. It has a little bit more of a traditional vibe, but with a pop. I loved the pink color. The time of me shopping, their newest range was a Zodiac sign. So they have the plain ones to try on in the store and then they attach whatever your Zodiac is in the front. Now, if they have the symbol in stock, they do it like in two to five minutes before you check out. But they were at, they only had one Libra charm. Fixed it and delivered it to my house the next day. So their service is fantastic. I mean, look how beautiful these are. These are like a blue satin on the outside. I just love the embellishments, all of the little diamonds and sparkles. These are a great evening option. Also do really fun chapels. We have little embroideries of flowers all over the front. Or if you do want that kind of like little Indian embroidery take, but in a more casual shoe that's not as traditional, they have those options as well. Sorry if the angle changed a little bit. I had to change my camera battery. The last pair I have from Fizzy Goblet are these like kitten heel fusion style. So they have the embroidery and kind of design like you would find on the more traditional shoes, but in a kitten heel. Now this is something that you won't find in as many stores. But these I thought were especially beautiful with the different pastel colors and will go with so many of my bags. If I wanna infuse a little bit of something special into a look, these will look great with jeans, with the skirt. It's something really different and it will look great with my Indian wear as well. That's it for the Indian brands that I bought from, but I did get a few other things as well. So a friend of a friend has a shop called Hype Time. They stock the rubber straps fit on the Swatch Omega watches. If you haven't seen the Swatch Omega collaboration watches, have this awful white Velcro strap and it just looks horrible. So <laughs> these straps are almost the price of the watch, but honestly, I knew that I would use the watch so much more if I had this strap. And the good thing is, is if I wanna pop this off and put it onto a luxury watch, these straps are designed where they're heavy duty enough where you can put your Rolex, your AP, any of your fancy watches on them. So I'll link their page below, but isn't this just like so much better than the ugly white strap it came with? Ronnie did some sneaker shopping there as well, and I found, this is a brand called Seven Friday. This is just the shopping bag for it but I found these amazing sunglasses. They're really pricey though. Actually an expansion of a watch brand and they usually do like limited watches and they have some really colorful, fun, kind of rounded square pieces. And I have been looking for a pink sunglass for a while now and I just love these. I'm sure now you can see my whole setup, but these I thought were just super cool and you can kind of see like the skeleton of the hardware inside. This is reminiscent of how their watches look as well. They reminded me of like jelly beans, which I think is really fun for summer. And now for what you all have been waiting for. I cannot believe I found this. So Hype Time is in the same building as the Hermes store. I had no plans to shop Hermes. I had no plans to shop luxury. But by the way, if you're based in Dubai and you shop luxury in India, I had some followers message me when they saw I was going and say it's about 15% cheaper for brands like Louis Vuitton. And even I confirmed in the Hermes store, um, that their price points are lower than the Dubai price points of Hermes as well. It's not a massive savings, like if you bought it in Europe. I popped into there because it was completely empty and I was like, we're here, why not? Let me just shoot my shot. Because quite honestly, like you guys have seen the video, I'll pop it up here if you have it. I talked about shopping I think it was nine, eight or nine different stores over the summer and not being able to get a single colored leather piece. In India, I found a pink piece. First, I actually did pick up a small item from the duty-free Hermes shop in Dubai on my way to India. This is a Twilly from Seasons Past. I was shocked they had it. And it's like the Jungle Hearts, I believe it's called. It has the cheetah on one side and it has the hearts on the other. I was hoping they had the pastel pink with the blue hearts, but of course they didn't. But they had about three colors of this in the Dubai Duty Free, so worth a look. I was really happy to find this because I think this will actually look really nice on my Kelly as well because it has the blue in it. 
now we have to get to the main event okay I want you to comment below and tell me what you think this is this is actually something that I asked for in almost every store in Europe and I was even offered one in blue with a red buckle in the gold Hermes color obviously those were colors I would not use so I didn't take it so if you've seen the other video you probably know what this is but you're gonna be shocked at the color I am over the moon so let's get into this unboxing they were so nice too also I was offered the three bags that were available I was offered it was a black Lindy a taupe kind of color Evelyn the bigger size and they had the oh, I'm gonna butcher this Bodily, Bodily, I don't know how you say it. They had the one with the three, or is it three or four colors? It was like blue, but there were like different shades of blue on it. I'll try to find a picture and pop it up here. And then I saw this on display and it was available for purchase. It wasn't display only. So we have this tiny little dust bag. Oh, it's upside down. And here is my 5P Pink Constance Slim. So this is the one with the belt slip on the back so you can slide this onto a belt. And you guys know, I am a multi-purpose queen. So this is going to be a belt bag. I'm gonna use a Twilly as a handle. I'm gonna add a strap to it. I've already found a company on Etsy that has the same pink color uh, additional strap. So I'm gonna be ordering that. So I will be showing you on Instagram and TikTok different ways to wear this and style it and the additional pieces that I get. But I'll go ahead and link that Etsy store down below. But oh my God, guys, look at this. It is the most gorgeous pink. You're supposed to just push underneath and it comes open. And with the slim wallet, you also get this little coin pouch as well this is the inside hard slip pocket in the back and the front i really see this very similarly to my little chanel going out bag once i add a strap to this i think it's going to have very similar functions in that you can put the cards in the side put a lipstick a car key and this is your little evening bag out and i liked how this has silver this has gold so i wasn't repeating something because they're very similar sizes. They're very occasional use bags. So I feel like they're different enough that it made sense for my collection. I just cannot believe I found this wallet and it was in this color because I was like dreaming of this wallet because I feel like for the constants for me, I like that it's on a smaller piece because I find the hardware a little bit bold and a little bit overwhelming that from the Constance line, this was the one piece that I really wanted to get. I'm not really after a Constance bag. I'm after a release instead. They're very similar in sizing, but the hardware is very different. So let's peel off these stickers because she is staying in my collection and you don't want the hardware to oxidize, obviously. So here you can even see, like this is the shiny hardware versus with the sticker. The hardware even has a completely different look when you peel off the sticker. Very hard to do with my nails, by the way. And there we have it, the shiny, beautiful hardware. And I don't know why I held this while I did that, but now I'm gonna talk price. So I tried to find the current US price and the most updated I could find was like 2,650, I believe. I couldn't find it on the US website to give the exact price. So if you bought this within the past few months in the US, please let us know the price. Keeping in mind that in the US, there's anywhere from like five to 10% sales tax, depending on what state. In India, this is 2.4 lakh rupees, which is the same as saying 240,000 rupees. When you do the exchange on that, it comes out to just around $3,000. So it might be just slightly above the US price. If you have bought this in, the, in Dubai, also tell us the price so we can see the difference. But when I asked, he said the price is more in Dubai. And it's definitely more than if you buy it in Europe, but I mean, it's always cheapest in Europe. So I was happy that even though I couldn't get this in Europe, like I literally walked into the store. It's the only thing I bought. I didn't have a spend there before. Good shopping experience. I didn't have to wait in a long line. I feel it was a fair price. And the pink ones go anywhere from $3,200 to $3,800 pre-love. So even going pre-love, I would have spent more. But my little Hermes collection is growing. This is my first pink leather piece and I am hooked. I mean, it's stunning. I am so happy that I found something pink in store. I didn't have to buy it pre-loved and technically it's not my first 
bag purchase because I still haven't purchased a bag in store. My first leather goods piece that I've purchased in store from Hermes. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. If you have one, let me know your experience with it as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and discovered some new brands through it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags and how I use this in many different ways. I can't wait to explore and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.